Okay, guys. So, um, today we are going to be doing... I know I look crazy. I look like Darth Vader, but it's okay. Um, today we're going to be doing a review on the Born This Way. What is this? Super Coverage Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. Um, now, I put on my favorite products right now. Of course, my under eye looks super light right now because that's some of the NARS... Um, what is it? NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I haven't bronzed up. Usually I do my concealer before, so... Um, I just did this makeup look real quick. Um, and then I wanted to go in. So basically, this is in the shade Warm Beige. It's made in Italy. It has 15 mils. Um, it is a large found... Uh, not foundation. It is a large concealer. I use my Tom Ford... Um, all-time favorite foundation so let's see what I have I have La Mer right here right next to me and this is honey and this is one fluid ounce so this is almost about the standard of I know I've seen a lot of comparisons to um, a foundation bottle so it is a nice size um, and I did swatch it in store just so I can see my shade but I haven't applied to my under eyes at all that's what we're gonna be doing today so it is a concealed contour highlight and retouch um, yes, like I said, I have it in more, uh, warm beige. This is Born This Way. I do have the um, Born This Way foundation, not the newer shades. Um, I am shade, I believe, Sand um, or Warm Beige. But Warm Beige is a little bit light, so that's why I picked this up. I want something close to my skin tone, but not super brightening. Um, I am going to have to do brightening in here, though, because um, I already have some, a little bit of concealer, but just mainly underneath this, as you can see. So... I haven't finished blending this out on the end. I am going to finish doing that. Oh, this is nice. Super coverage. I probably didn't have to go back in. I just did. It is super full coverage, I can tell you that. Going in nice. You don't have to do dip, double dip again. This is like a lot of concealer. You don't even need this much. I am always, I always go ham with this, so. This is what it looks like. It's super full. Let me put my, a little bit out the way. So this is what it looks like. And we are going to blend this out. Now I'm using my Eco Tools. You know, I use this all the time. All right, and then we're going to blend this out. Wow. I know my lights are super bright, but I'm trying to so you can see me. Wow. I'm impressed. Super full coverage. And it doesn't feel drying. I have a lot of fine lines underneath here that I've gotten I would say over the last. I mean I've had fine lines, but I've gotten a lot of them over the last, I would say, year. Uh, I'm just gonna. I almost feel like I concealed my whole entire face. Which, uh, it's a lot of product. Definitely, I went up a little bit too high here, so I am going to fix that. I do see it. Hmm. Looks super good. 
I don't know if you guys can see it. I look like a pale potato. Seriously. All right. So I'm just going to apply some powder on top of that. Um, I'm going to set because that's what I usually do in T.Y. And I'm going to go in with my, um, you know what? I'm not going to use this. I'm going to use my Derma Blend. Fine powder, um, loose setting powder. I use this all the time. I was going to go in with the Beauty Bakery, but I'm going to use this one. Um, okay, I need to get some more powder. Okay, dokey. So I'm going to go in here. I think I'm going to go in with a brush. It doesn't even look like it's creasing at all. I like that. I'm going to blend it out anyway. I'm going to use this Tarte brush. I believe I got it in a set. I'm going to do a little. I like that it's radiant and it's not drying. Not radiant so much, but it's not drying powder. Let me finish up the rest of my face and I will be right back after I finish all my makeup, okay? Right back. Okay guys, so I am back with the final um, look, but I also applied my powders. Um, so we're doing the review on the concealer and I am loving the way it is looking. Um, the powders went on phenomenally. I've also used products that I know that are my bomb products. So my Tom Ford foundation, I used, um, you know, minus eyeshadows. Tom Ford foundation, I use um, contour powders that I use, stuff that I know that will work well. And then I love the way this went on. I love the application. I love that it has a thick head um, on the top. It's very similar to the tape shape, shape tape um, by Tarte, but you get more product for 20, I believe it's $29. Um, and you get 15 mils. My shade is warm beige. I applied my Derma Blend powder on it to set it and my uh, Charlotte Tilbury uh, Airbrush Fla Flawless Finish Powder. You know guys, I use that all the time. I love the way that my under eye came out. You can see it close up. And it came out so good. I love the way it feels. I love the way it looks. Um, I'll update you guys in the description box below um, to let you know how well it worked out for me throughout the rest of the day. So I hope that you guys all enjoyed this short little review. Um, and yeah, I think it's definitely worth it. $28, you can't go wrong for double the product. Um, I don't usually fall into the hypes. Um, I usually just buy. I'm, I don't buy gimmicky products. That's why you won't see a lot of, you know, things I won't buy or things I didn't like. I'll buy what I like. Um... I like real pro makeup type of person that invests into products that actually work, that do well, perform well. Um, so of course you guys, I hope you guys will trust my review, but I love this so far. I can tell you right now offhand that I love it. I love the way it's set. I love the way it went on. I love the way it blended. I love that. Uh, um, I love how thick it was and it just bl blended out flawlessly. It gave me coverage without feeling heavy. Um, and I really appreciate that. So if you get more bang for your buck and you um, enjoy a thick concealer but it's not drying like Shape Tape, I actually really like that. I enjoy that. So this might be my new fave. Now you guys know I love my LA Pro concealers. So I like this one a lot though too. Um, and I will be using this in some upcoming tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you all. I love you all. Um, comment down, comment down below. Let me know what you want to see next. And I think I'm gonna have a drugstore tutorial coming because you know I do a lot of luxury and high end, but you can also achieve looks from beautiful looks from the drugstore. So I believe that's what I'll be doing next. I'm not really sure though. 
But let me know what you guys would like to see. I appreciate you all. I love you all. Thank you so very much for watching.